hello, hi, how you do? So, what we're going to be talking about today is just a horrible, 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 horrible story that I don't really have any words to describe other than just watch this shit. I mean, this lady right here is a murderer who basically laughed and mocked the murder of a four-year-old child. Don't believe me? Sick moment, woman smirks and giggles in court as she's charged with butchering three-year-old boy outside Ohio supermarket. Imagine smiling, imagine butchering a child. Okay, you've got to be a certain level of not crazy, you know, mental. Um, and then imagine butchering a child and laughing and having a giggle about it, thinking it's fucking Hail Mary, thinking it's the funniest thing you've ever seen. I mean, are people off their heads in this universe? Have I have I tr been transported into a universe that is not normal? I, 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 uh, 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 uh. You tell me, let's watch this clip and you can tell me what you think of this woman who is hopefully going to be put down like a damn dog, boy. 2903.11A1 and or endangering children in violation of Ohio Revised Code section 2919.22B2. Count four alleges that on or about June 3rd, 2024. What the hell? Honestly, what the hell? That is just crazy. This woman couldn't be prouder that she killed a little boy and was being sentenced to life in prison. I hope, um, you know, America has the death penalty in some states, in some regions, in some areas. My God, I hope they have it where this bitch is chilling because they, they need it. This shit is terrible. I mean, not trying to be a negative Nancy. I really aren't. But this bitch deserves the death penalty, bro. Do it. Someone just be the bigger man and shoot her in the head. Am I wrong? No, I'm fucking right. The defendant did knowingly cause serious physical harm to JW on 10, date of birth, 10-29. What is she doing? 2020. Count five alleges that on or about June 3rd, 2024, the defendant did torture or cruelly abuse JW, date of birth, 10-29, 2020, a child under 18 years of age, and furthermore- 2020, bro. 2020, this kid was born, and this bitch stands here smiling proud that she's taking this little kid out from the society and now i was going to say this little white boy because everything's about race isn't it and that probably sums up the problem with me i don't think it's anything to do with race but she is so happy so clearly thrilled at the fact that she took this father's kid third 2024 the defendant did knowing that an official proceeding or investigation was in progress or was about to be or likely to be instituted I mean, imagine being a lawyer and this is what you got to deal with. I, don't get me wrong, the lawyer's not to blame, whatever, but you chose this life of money and, you know, potential fame and being this celebrity lawyer and you've got to deal with people like this smirking and laughing and giggling when a little child has been brutally murdered, brutally attacked, tortured. I would think if this, look, this is just me pulling the uh, male card out, uh, granted, but imagine if this was a male, a ma you know, a man, and he was doing this sort of thing, I think he'd probably be tasered there and then. I think he'd be, you know, restricted. Strained. You know what I mean? Why is this woman allowed to just there smile, giggle, laugh like she's just watched an episode of Scooby-Doo? Like, this is not funny. Your life is done. I'd like to see how well she does in prison, I have to admit. And it just goes on. She keeps smiling. Now read the indictment to you. Do you wish to enter a plea of not guilty? Same. Pardon me? Same. What same mean? Yes or no? Yes. Okay. I understand the victims are represented and they want to... Make a comment before I step on, is that true? Yes, sir. Okay. That is fatty. You know what I mean? I'm, I don't want to be mean, but, you know, when you kill a child, I feel like you don't deserve any niceness. This fat, ugly wench that looks like my big toe once it's been repeatedly beaten into a pulp by the corner of my bed. That is what this bitch looks like. I mean, her breasts, can I just say? Are that, is that a breast? Is that a body? Like, what is going on there? They are saggy, saggy. They are as sad as she is. They are, like, pointing down south and not able to get back up. Like, god dang, god dang, god dang. Sorry to get all personal, but I'm actually quite annoyed. And I like how she went, see, sí, see. Sí. Bitch, we're in English. This is not Espanol, no Mexico. This is England, or no, it's America. This is English. This is um, the land of the freedom, kind of. Good morning, sir. Could you start with your name? My name is Jared Wood, father of the deceased, husband of Margo, your honor. That day, one week ago, she took everything from us. There's nothing that could ever replace my son or anything that my wife and I, or even our other kids, are going through. It, it's.
Oof. Imagine being having your little brother taken from you by a, a woman. You know, you'll sit there one day, old enough to grasp it and understand what's going, what happened, what went on, and you have to sit there while this woman didn't get away with it. She got put in prison. But is that good enough? When someone stands there smiling, smirking, almost like it's some comedy gig. Ricky Gervais is playing at the front. Nah, this is not fun and games. This is serious. Children's lives, uh, to me, are worth far more than any adult's life. Which all life is life. I get that. But for you to take the the light out of a child, a, a kid, a little boy, that's a level of psychopath that I don't think deserves forgiveness. I think that's it. You know, when you do it and you smirk, there's no remorse, there's no sympathy. This is pure, pure hatred and an evil woman. And now this poor father has to stand here. Actually, just take a minute and put yourself in his shoes. I mean, pff, pff, no words can describe how he must be feeling. And this, and I, I there was no bail period or extend it to the max limit possible by that you can at the very least just do whatever you can to keep this monster behind the bars thank you sir is there anything else you would like to say that'll be it thank okay. you your honor thank you See, if I was him, look, I, maybe I've played too many games and watched too many films, but I'd almost be like, please let her be released on bail. She deserves forgiveness. Jesus will forgive and repent. But really, this is a prank. Really, I'm going to go down with my double barrel shotgun and put that to her chin and see how she likes that. And then we'll see if she's smiling then. Hey? Hey? God, she looks like one of them people in class who've been, like, kicked out, you know, and is standing outside, you can see them through the window, and they keep making eye contact, smiling at you, laughing, thinking they're the bee's knees when really they just, you know, talk too much or flicked a bean at the teacher or something like that. I mean, who knows what they did? This woman is just there, cheeky. I'm the class clown, everyone loves me. Everyone thinks you're a donkey and hopes you get put in the grave. Do you understand that? Your Honor, we would just ask that you consider um, assigning the public defender's office, recognizing this is not our number. We did represent her at the first appearance unit. I did meet with her on Friday. We have had contact with her family and begun working on the case. Thank you, Your Honor. Even the lawyers are covering their own ass. Like, please, just keep in mind, we didn't really want to do this. We were kind of forced. We didn't have a choice. This, you know, I spoke to her or whatever. Yeah, but, you know, we're not pals. You know, I wouldn't have a drink with her unless she was paying. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, we're not friends, Your Honour. Just, just remember, remember that. No bond was set out of uni court. The bond was set at $1 million. And it was before the passing of one of the alleged victims. I do not believe that bond is appropriate given the change in circumstances and the allegations that are contained in this indictment. Bond is set at $5 million, cash, surety, or property. GPS, no contact with any surviving victim or victim's family, DNA order. Judges John Russo, pretrial. You're not smiling anymore, are you, fatty bum 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 bum? You big fucking absolute astronaut looking whale. Fuck you. So just a couple things. Her name is Bianca, I think. Uh, whatever you can to keep this monster behind bars is what we heard the dad say. Apologies about the ads. It's disgraceful. Ellis refused to cooperate. Her name's Bianca Ellis, just in case you know. She was in Cuyaga. It's someone with a brain, tell me how you say that. Being arraigned at Rocky Muna Court, case removed to that county where it was twice ground to a halt during her arraignment on Monday because people wanted to shoot her. Before that, she said she did not know if her indictment had been read to her, so clearly she's a bit off her head. She's probably got a crack pipe, you know, lurking in her mum's basement. This could be a capital murder case. I don't think that's appropriate, is one of the, uh, what the attorney said. Again, what a scumbag you must be in order to even, you know, defend this woman because it's her legal right. Oh, if I don't do it, someone else will do it that sums up your morals mate like if someone doesn't kill this person i'm gonna kill them like what why 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 third attempt at arraignment the court brought her downstairs to face the judge ellis refused to acknowledge her indictment and state that she did not want to read or have an attorney read it to her thank god that you were seeing the father poor 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 man one count of aggregated murder two counts of murder two counts of attempted murder stabbed three-year-old Oh my god, it makes me sad. Like I said, something about little children. I have two little nieces and nephew. Ugh, oh, it's just horrible when it, you know, it's just horrible when it's kids. It's far worse, you know, if a 60 year old man got stabbed, like, yeah, that's sad, but, you know, I wouldn't make a video on it.
Let's put it like that. So she stole two knives from the Volunteers of America store and then walked to the Giant Eagle where she spotted a 38-year-old woman pushing the child. They followed the mother and son, Julian, into the parking lot and then stabbed the child while he was in the uh, grocery cart. Mother tried to pull the boy out of the cart during the attack. Ellis stabbed her as well. So, basically, she's a bitch. Let's get one thing straight. She is not going to find justice until she's put in the grave. I'm sorry if you're, you know, really religious or, you know, you believe in retribution. I believe in retribution. I believe everyone can be retributed i don't know what you'd say everyone can improve and become better not this bitch and if she can i don't want to see it i don't care if she can you know if you rob a kit kat from the local supermarket and end up going to jail and get the death penalty then i'd feel sorry for you but if you murder a child to stab another woman and smile in the court like it's something to be proud of and you've just stood up in front of the whole assembly at school and everyone's applauding you for being the fastest kid the world's ever seen then something screwed up with you bro five million bond i say just put it down just put it down don't waste the tax dollars it's not worth it it's not worth it let me know what you guys think uh i just want to say yeah horrible stuff um really sad sad oh, it's just fucking terrible in it guys it's terrible absolutely disgusting